Yes, we're back. We're back again in Firmbus. We're back again to carry on our adventure around the map. Around the outside of the map, it seems to be a thing now. Is it we're scared of the middle? Is that a thing? But we'll carry on. Uh, this time, we're moving on to Doubly Decker Fun in the Skyliner. And we're making our way to Hamburg via Kiel. So a two-stop hop in this one. Uh, grab that guidebook to all things two-stoppy, hoppy, fun bussy, funny. That's probably going to be a very big guidebook. Grab something. Pot plant. Banana. Passing hedgehog. <laughs> grab a thing and let's go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's going to be one of those. Um, hi there, Steve here, and welcome back to Fernbus. Uh, if you're new to my content, yeah, it's that, it's that random. Uh, welcome indeed. Fernbus going out on the channel every single Friday. Uh, something currently anyway, but coming to a slow death. Uh, is OMSI on a Monday, uh, trains on a Wednesday. On a Saturday, we have something uh, single player or multiplayer. Yeah, that's going to be the OMSI Monday replacement, I think, somewhere along the line there. Uh, and on a Sunday, when we have something new to review, that goes out on what I call Random Sunday. Uh, because some of them can be, well, random, really. Uh, so yes, plenty of content from me. If you enjoy this randomness, then just the, the, the subscribe thing and the bell thing and the thumbs up at the end. I'm actually doing a thumbs up signal in my thumb. That's quite random. You can't see that. Um, so, yes, we're going to carry on our journey around the outside of the map. Uh, we made our way last time up here to Flensburg. Uh, this time we're going to make our way to Kiel and then back down to Hamburg so we can carry on uh, around here from Hamburg. And why does that road go? Nowhere. And that's a future thing, I think, going to be in there. Um, so Bremen and all that lot to come. Uh, but this time, then, the vehicle of choice. We have moved on. Uh, doubly decker fun uh, in the Skyliner. So with each video I do, I move my way through the ranges of vehicles. We've got three men now, man's, man, 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 man's, three different MAN uh, ranges. Uh, we've got the Comfort Class, we've got the Neoplan, we've got the VDLs, we've got the Scania, which is the best thing in the game. Uh, then we've got the little BB, which is blanked out here because we can't use it in Flixbus mode. And then we've got the MB. Uh, so with each journey I do, I move myself up a class. So we work our way around all the vehicles. Uh, whenever we get a new one, I test it uh, on my test route and we add that in as well. So this time we are on the awesome Neoplan Skyliner. Date is late that I'm recording this. Time is 10 o'clock as always. Weather is set to dynamic, which gives us a nice September day. Uh, or I think you're seeing this in October. But currently it's September. That's not confusing at all. We'll click on Start Game. See, I generally record these week, two weeks in advance. Uh, and we will, of course, at the end of the video, uh, go through the leaderboard of shame. So, uh, yes, here we are in the uh, awesomeness that is. You may notice that in the thumbnail uh, that there was a Simpsons stuff coach there because I came in first, took the thumbnail and left again. That's gone. It's been replaced by a Flixbus one. How boring is that? I thought we could get some double Simpsons stuff action. Anyway, so yes, here we are in the... Uh, awesome uh, Neoplan Skyliner in the soon-to-be-replaced uh, Sims and Stuff um, logo. Didn't really do much for 2020 with that one. Um, the rainbow thing is going to stay, but uh, some changes are coming from January. Uh, so um, the old versions are available on Steam. I will soon remove those. Um, I'm ready to see if we can get some new versions up for January. And uh, a bit of a multilingual thing going on here with the bonus to arrive alive. Uh, let's um, open up a thing. Let them pop their bags in. <clears throat> there we go. So they pop their bags in. Excuse me. Uh, we'll hop on board and set this thing up. If you've not seen the Skyliner, we'll do a quick little tour of it. So it's a double decker. So down here we've got this is probably one of the best places to sit, I think. Uh, we've got some storage areas there, some double table action going on there. Uh, then we've got the, uh, the toilet uh, here. A uh, bit of a storage cupboard thing, I'm guessing. There, I don't know what that is. A uh, kitchen area here for the hot and cold uh, running kitchens. Another cupboard. I'm guessing that'll probably be a fridge or something down there. Why am I up there? Uh, a fridge or something down there. 
and then if I can get up the stairs and up the stairs um, lots and lots of the seatings and uh, look at this moon roof looking uh, rather nice and uh, obviously the best places to sit in the whole thing would be one of these seats up here little screens in front of you telling you where the next stop is and stuff and uh, we'll fire those up in a moment and back down the other staircase to uh, where we sit ourselves okay reset track IR fire it up pop some lights on activate our destination display and we will go Wi-Fi on, kitchen clearance on, restroom clearance on, reading lights on, passenger downstairs lights on, passenger upstairs lights on, driver monitor off because I don't like it, uh, passenger monitors we will put on though, uh, air conditioning we'll put on and we'll set to 21 degrees, so we are all good to go. Let's uh, go outside and check in some victims. My side is Hang on, I haven't logged into my phone yet. There we go. You're going to Heidelberg. We're not going there. Yeah, yeah, you're stupid. Right, yeah. Yeah, well, fine. You're going to Hamburg. We're hopefully going to end up there. Yep, you're going to the Hamburg place as well. What about you? Yep, yep, the Hamburg uh, one is the way you're going. Hello? Breast? No! No! Kiel. Am I going? Oh yeah, I'm going there. Sorry, I got confused for a second. Freiburg. I'm not going to Freiburg. How many people are idiots here? Kiel. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you got Lyon. No. My God, how many people are going to get it wrong? Kiel. Yes, you're good. Hamburg. Yep. Yep, you're good. And Kiel. Yep, you're good. Okay. Shut the thing. So, four people not knowing where they're going. Oh, I don't know. Uh, is anybody down here? I'll go stand upstairs then. There'll be more people upstairs. There we go. I'll stand here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this Sims and Stuff Flixbus travel service going to Kiel and Hamburg. Uh, on the side of the coach, it does say a bonus to arrive alive. Uh, so, trust me, it probably will be because big coach and me. Uh, in the seat back pocket in front of you, you'll find our next of kin card. If you kindly fill out the details of your next of kin on that card, uh, we'll know who to contact in the event of your untimely death on this journey. If you also like to fill out any usernames, credit card numbers, PIN numbers, passwords, uh, we'll make use of those as well. For your convenience, we have already ticked the Simpsons stuff life insurance box, and uh, whatever you do, don't read the small print. Right then, let's get ourselves uh, downstairs. Sitly down in the chair, turn on the thing. Oh, I still can't see why this has got to be muted when that does that. Okay, into gear, release the parking brake, indicate, and do this. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos surfen will, wählt sich einfach in unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen? Kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil buchen wollt, holt euch einfach unsere App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch per E-Mail zuschicken. 
Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. And now in English. Hello and I'm going this way, not the way the sat nav is telling me. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seatbelts is compulsory on board the bus. Therefore, please keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the entire journey. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our information card containing further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There is a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app onto your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. Yeah, turning left back there, <coughs> excuse me, would have taken me back the way that we came in. Uh, turning right takes me round the top of the map and uh, on a road that we didn't come in. So comes in from Kiel uh, to Kiel from the north. Uh, so um, a bit of a different route. So rather than go back over the same way. And I've got to say, uh, wow, doesn't this look flipping awesome? Uh, if you're not seeing, if you've maybe not seen any of my content before or not seen um, Firm Bus before, this is just looking absolutely fantastic. Um, it's just stunning. It is absolutely stunning. Um, the way that this has improved over the last um, few years that I've been following the game, it, just look at it. It is just looking absolutely fantastic I just can't fault it I'm really genuinely looking forward to seeing uh, the future um, of this and uh, although there is going to be some changes coming up to my uh, YouTube channel and the content that I put out from January uh, 2021 um, I'm going to keep an eye on this because I it's just fantastic I just every time that I come in this for <coughs> recording content <coughs> excuse me or not recording content um, I'm just genuinely shocked at how good it is and uh, it's just it is just that good so it's great to be able to bring you new content obviously we're in a bit of a lull with content obviously this year being um, difficult for anybody really to put out new material uh, and update things with teams working you know away from each other really hard from a collaboration point of view um, so a lot of things are delayed so you know, I'm hoping that we will get Holland and Belgium at some point um, in the next year um, I'm sure we're gonna get more vehicles and uh, whether we'll get um, a change to uh, the game as well it'd be really awesome to get an economy system into it in the same way as we did in tourist bus um, It'd be really cool. So we will see. All right, so make our way round to Kiel. Yeah, we had some issues uh, a few videos ago 
uh, with fences, etc. Uh, that was because of a major update, obviously caused some uh, issues there. Um, thankfully, we don't seem to have come across any of those since. So that's good. And uh, every single update that they do, it just seems to get more and more optimized. It's running smoother. You know, graphically, it's looking a lot better. See, so, you know, we had water reflections the other week um, that are looking great. The trees now are looking good. The AI seems to be behaving itself. Yeah, you know, it's just what's not to love. You know, I've had a few people comment. Um, that there's no real purpose to this um, and I think that will change once we get an economy system because at the moment it is just you know pick a place and drive to it there isn't really uh, a goal there isn't really a, a reason to uh, do a journey you know in, in tourist bus you you're building up a business so you've got to do the journeys to make money and uh, you want to be making money, basically. So by continuous to do journeys, employing drivers, you then got to repair buses and stuff. Um, in this, there isn't really any of that. There isn't really a um, a goal. There isn't a reason to do the journeys. So I can maybe see why some people uh, aren't uh, putting as much time in it because of that. But I think of this, and I've said this before, that it's a bit like train sim that you've got that initial hustle and bustle you know you decide where you're going and you've got that initial hustle and bustle uh checking people in getting them on board and then you drive to somewhere else and then you either end your journey or you do it again with multiple pickups i just find the actual driving bit uh in between the places and look at it just really relaxing So, you know, it's one of those uh, titles you can just pick, pick up, come in, chill out for an hour, do a journey, and then turn it off again. Wow, these speed limits keep going up and down, don't they? So, a very brief section at 100. And then back down to an 80 and now down to a 60. And then back to an 80. Why did we get down to a 60 then? It opened up to a dual carriageway. Why would that be a 60? And the road surface has got smooth, so the noise has changed. So it's got quieter. That is just so nice. Don't forget, by the way, if you're uh, enjoying my uh, YouTube content, you maybe haven't checked out the live content, uh, live stream at weekends over on Twitch. Uh, some of the content is uh, worthy to go out on YouTube occasionally, and uh, most of it isn't for various reasons. Uh, so if you want to uh, watch me live and see a different side of me uh, and my content, um, then do go and check out uh, the Twitch page. I will put a link to that in the description below. Um, yeah, there's definitely there's two me's. There's uh, the YouTube me, and uh, there's the Twitch me. Uh, in single player, though, I'm pretty much the same as this. So if I'm uh, streaming something single player, then uh, with some interaction uh, live on Twitch, which is always great, um, it's fine. But in multiplayer, things can get a bit well, interesting. So I uh, can highly recommend uh, going to check that out.
That was sort of green when I spotted it. So I will come back and do some tourist bus soon. I uh, haven't done any tourist bus for a little while. Um, so there'll be some of that again soon. I haven't driven the new MAN in uh, in tourist bus yet. So we'll come back and do that. Maybe do another stream. So again, good reason to keep your eye out on Twitch. I'll do another stream of some tourist bus stuff. At some point. And uh, that you should see on YouTube. So if you're not uh, able to watch live over on Twitch, that's the sort of content that will be coming on YouTube. And uh, I say more Twitch stuff coming in uh, 2021. Nothing to see there. Didn't uh, didn't touch him at all. There's a treat. He stopped short of the line. That's what it was. That was my see. If he was stopped further, closer to the line, then uh, I would have been fine. But typical BMW driver. Not indicating either. So again, typical BMW driver. Unless he's not turning left. Oh, now he indicates. Yeah, definitely BMW driver. And disappears off into the distance. Yeah, Mr. Policeman, he didn't indicate back there. Come in, lights. Do the changing of the colour thing. Not like the changing of the guard, but the changing of the colour thing. There we go. That's the BMW man again. Is he going to turn right now? Oh, no, he is going straight on. Okay. So I've got to turn left up here. Not of these lights, though. At the next ones. Through these ones on green. That's good. We like that. We like that a lot. That was green. I definitely saw that as uh, as green. I didn't see it change colour. Honest. Get in shape and be healthy. Hmm. That was, that's also green, that one. Actually, it is green. This one, not so much. I've said it before, this isn't it's probably my least favourite uh, vehicle. Uh, purely because the fact it's a double decker and you've got this restricted view, as you would have. Uh, I'm used to driving vehicles where you've got you know a wider view. But it's well modelled. So here, I can pull forward, then I can't see the traffic lights because they're on an overhead thing. I don't know why we've got the logo on the roof. Passing helicopters, maybe? In case the police want to see where we are. Does look quite smart, though. So it's going to change in uh, 2021. I don't know if we can get some liveries done. But uh, 
Yeah. Come on, lights. There we go. Yeah, long way round to this stop, isn't it? Like doing a tour of Kiel. I should have just done one stop. I didn't realize it was going to be this long. But here we are. We're going to do the stopping at the Kiel thing. Okay, people get on, people get off. Let's see you. You want to buy a ticket to the Hamburg place? Uh, okay, let's see if we can do that for you. In fact, you've got a smartphone in your hand. You could have done it yourself, I but uh, I'm not Alf Gates. But okay, what about you? Hello. Yep, yeah, that's uh, that's good. You? Yep. You could be right there, and you? No, I'm not going there. You? Yeah, and there should be one more, which is going to be you. Yep, you're all good. Right, it, oh, I'll walk through someone. Let's close that from out there. Anybody sat down? Here? I'll go and stand up at the top of the stairs again. Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Sims. Fell down the step. Uh, welcome aboard the Sims and Stuff Flixbus Travel Service going to Hamburg. Uh, on the side of the coach, it does say a bonus to arrive alive, and trust me, it will be. Uh, in the seat back pocket in front of you, you will find our next of kin card. If you kindly fill out the details of your next of kin on that card, we'll know who to contact in the event of your untimely death on this journey. If you also like to fill out any usernames, credit card numbers, PIN numbers, passwords, we'll make use of those as well. For your convenience, we have already ticked the Simpsons stuff life insurance box, and whatever you do, don't read the small print. Okay, let's um, sit me down, close the doors, click on the start right thing again. Indicate the other way, release the thing and do the thing. Hello and herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos surfen will, wählt sich einfach in unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen, kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil buchen wollt, holt euch einfach unsere App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt, nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch per E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. And now English. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seatbelts is compulsory on board the bus. Therefore, please keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the entire journey. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our information card containing further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There is a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets, which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app onto your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. 
For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. The one thing that has always been a thing with uh, Fernbus is it does end up being traffic light simulator when you're in the town. I personally think there's too many. Um, because you end up, if you go in a town, you end up spending a big chunk of your time just sat at traffic lights. There's too many, they're too close. Um, is my opinion. Obviously, you know, in real life, you're going across a big city, you're going to get held up in traffic lights. I get that. But if the idea of this simulation is to <clears throat> enjoy the journey between the, the cities or towns, then you, you want to be out of the town, don't you? So, you know, roundabouts, giveaway junctions, yes. I just... Mm, I would love to see less traffic lights. Because there, within what, 30 seconds, we've got another set. You know, in the UK, that would be a roundabout, probably. That's some low hanging trees. That's just going to take the front of the coach off. But hey, my only gripe uh, with the game uh, is that, and it's always been the case, it's always been traffic light simulator that you just sat waiting. That's a view over there that if anybody wants one there's there's one over there that looks stunning look at it hopefully when I build my new uh, PC uh, Christmas um, I'll be able to uh, improve on the graphics quality um, even toying uh, with streaming and uh, trying to put out um, content in 4k um, as well so that's going to be a thing if I can alright so 131k to go until we get to Hamburg and then we will look at that uh, leaderboard of shame see where I am see where you are if you're friends with me on Steam and you have the game It does end up being very shameful. Not that I ever hear from anybody. No one that's at the bottom of the leaderboard has ever posted. And here's a challenge for you. Uh, if you're watching this and you've got this far, well, well done you. Um, and you're on that bottom page of the leaderboard of shame. I would like you to post in the comments. That's me. Uh, I'm on the bottom page of the leaderboard of shame and this is why because A I don't think anybody watches videos that far anyway uh, I said this on a stream recently that no one watches to the end I could just be I could just start saying it I could start singing um, but if you do and you are on that uh, bottom page why are you there I'm sure in the last minute of a video I could just say, right, I'm giving away something. No one would, no one would notice. No one watches my content. I don't even know why I bother. I could just stop recording now. I won't, because I want to get to Hamburg. Which is one of the reasons, uh, in all honesty, why the content is changing. Uh, as much as I enjoy a lot of the content that I put out on YouTube, uh, the people of YouTube don't. So content that I enjoy doing and that I spend time recording um, and putting out there for your enjoyment uh, doesn't get enjoyed anymore. So it means that in order to uh, hopefully give you content that you will watch and will enjoy, I've got to change it up. So, which is why from next year, 
uh, or it could be 2021 when you're watching this from the 1st of January 2021 uh, there is going to be a change to the channel some content will be going um, I currently spend probably a good six seven hours a week um, recording uh, and sorting content to go out on the uh, YouTube channel which may not seem a lot but considering that I work a 50 hour week uh, I stream on a Wednesday night Thursday night Friday night Saturday night Sunday afternoon uh, the only time I get to record content is on a Saturday or Sunday morning um, so the time I'm putting in to recording the content that no one watches so in order to change things up it means I've got to get ruthless with the channel so which is why uh, content like OMSI uh, will be no longer on the channel um, and uh, flight as much as I really enjoy flight um, it doesn't get watched so flight will no longer be on the channel um, and I will be looking at uh, other content going forward if it means that I've got to drop my content down to one video a week and that just is firm bus because that's all people want to watch then that's what it will be why put out content uh, that nobody watches or enjoys um, so yes the channel will be coming uh, into a change from 2021 I want to put out content that you want to see but I also want to put out content that I enjoy recording um, because and I've said this before with the likes of OMSI um, I don't want to play it and it's getting to the point where you don't want to see it so why do I bother so you know we have got a bus company running um, so I'll do some content in the bus company and uh, bring that to a close for the end of the year But uh, from 2021, it could be that you only see on YouTube um, any streams that are worthy of being put on YouTube. And maybe I'll do a video a week, uh, the likes of Fernbus, um, as uh, content that I create because it's something that I enjoy. And uh, just wind the channel back to one, maybe two videos a week rather than currently, you know, three four five videos a week and I will put um, I will put something out once I've uh, worked out what I'm doing there will be a video coming in December uh, to announce the changes and what's happening uh, there's gonna be a change to the discord as well um, so look out for that you know 300 plus people in the discord of which about 20 are active so um, there's going to be a change to the Discord as well. So yes, lots of changes. Yeah, 2020 has been a, a really bad year for well the world um, with the whole coronavirus thing. Uh, everyone's struggling I personally have gone through a lot uh, losing both my parents within seven weeks of each other um, was really tough um, so I for one will be glad when uh, 2020 is over and uh, we can hopefully look forward to 2021 as being a better year and it's going to be a year where I'm doing things for me So cutting out content on YouTube uh, will uh, upset some people. I've never been into doing the whole YouTube thing for the money, which is a good thing, really. Um, it's you know the channel is growing slowly. I average you know probably a subscriber a day, um, so it's never been about the subscribers. Um, those of you that do comment uh, do enjoy the content, and you know I've gained a lot of friends. Um, through doing Twitch and YouTube people have joined the community 
been part of the community and uh, got involved. Um, so that's awesome. But if it means that I've got to make some changes to uh, to make the content uh, either better for you or better for me, then that's what I'm going to do. So there we go. It's, it wasn't intending on being a, a rambly, waffly uh, video talking about the future, but, you know, I just relax when I'm in this game. So you've got a bit of a heads up, a bit of a sneak peek as to what's coming. So don't tell anybody. I never plan these videos. I literally don't plan these videos. I know where I got to last time. I fire up the game. I look at the map and go, yeah, I'll go there. And uh, <clears throat> obviously, <clears throat> excuse me. Obviously, for anybody that has watched any of the live streams, um, you can tell that there's no script. I, I don't plan anything. I'm not professional enough to have certain things I want to talk about. You know, if I was a professional, I'd be going, I'd have notes on Hamburg, I'd have notes on Kiel, I'd have information to hand on uh, the vehicle I'm driving, you know, when it was produced, how many they produced, what the brake horsepower is, what the size of the engine is, you know, what the seating capacity is. I don't do that stuff. I hit record and go. That's it. That's why you get the videos, warts and all. That's why the ones that do go wrong. And there are a few that I actually do stop recording. Uh, there's quite a lot of uh, games I get for Random Sunday to record where I've sat and recorded like 20 minutes and then just gone like, no, this is just so bad. I can't put this out. And there are times, you know, some videos I will record the first 30 seconds four or five times because I'll say something I don't like. And then I just stop and do it again. Um, but once I get past the, the intro, uh, that's it. I just go. Which is why I think a lot of you like my content, because it is really random. And it's not scripted. And I don't, although I'm not sat here trying to be entertaining, um, I think you lot do find the entertainment a thing. Certainly with the live streams, I think you do. And some of them go really, really random, really, really quickly. So for those of you that have been around a while, and for those of you who do watch this content regularly, uh, I do thank you. Uh, I have no plans to remove Fernbus from the channel. I'm really looking forward to the bus. Uh, we will come back in uh, and do some content on Tourist Bus. So... You know, there are some changes coming. There are some things that won't appear on um, YouTube for sure. For the likes of Omzi. Although, you know, that's a game that built my channel. That's a game because I think I was one of the few people uh, doing Omzi in English. Um, all those years ago, five years ago. Um, it's something now that uh, there are people out there doing it a lot better than me. So it's time to uh, hand the reins over to those people and let them carry on wow he just took a lamppost with him yep yeah, you seem to be sort of carrying a lamppost down the road there mr truck <laughs> how can he not notice that he's got a lamppost on the back of his <laughs> Uh, excuse me, mate. You seem to be uh, driving along with a lamppost. Right, here we are then. That's Hamburg. It's a real shame with this. I've said this before when we come to one of these bus station things. Uh, oh, it's a Simpsons stuff, Coach. Yay! Um, that we can't park in one of these bays, because that would just be brilliant. Instead of that, it's sort of a bay, but not a bay. And there we go. We arrive in Hamburg.
and all our passengers depart. That's actually quite a smart screenshot. I like that. I like that a lot. Let me just do that. There we go. See? How professional am I? I even do the thumbnail in the video. So now I talked about the other thumbnail, so I can't use this one now. I've got to use that one. Damn it! Anyway, right, let's uh, let's do the lockout thing. I mentioned the other thumbnail, so I can't now change it to this one because people at the beginning of the video will be going, what do you mean there's another Tim's Stuff coach in it? That changed. Anyway, passengers transported, 13 out of 13. Tickets sold was one. The stops completed, three. Contact with Central was twice. Uh, drove 278 of the Ks. Uh, arrived on time, departed on time. That was all good. Air conditioning, 91%. It's not bad. And of course, I played the announcement twice. Uh, maintained driving time. Oh, that was all good. No accidents. Not get done for speeding. Didn't injure anything. Drove on the road. Home centre time. Speeding was maintained 94% of the time. I do seem to get quite close to people. Uh, drove 731. Drove 700. Got 731 of the XPs as well. Let's see what that does to the leaderboard. So I am at 452. Um, and top 100. Yeah, it's not going to be a thing, really, is it? My friends, then. Ed, not far ahead of me now. I hope Ed doesn't play it for a while because I'm only 3,000 behind him. Uh, so I'm at 452. Stewie B is at 490. Webb is at uh, 785. Dylan is at 1242. Lee White at 1463. LTZ at 2261. Chaos has been playing it. He's now at 2302. He's catching me up. Damn it. Uh, Scouse is at 2364. Mike is at 2367. Jeff at 2853. Tap out at 3476. Manly at 3611. With Dylan down here at 3698. Chris Brown is at 3717. Just Branco is at 3738. Dom Rado at 3798. The two pilots down here then. Well, one pilot, one, you know. Tux. Uh, it, Sam is at 38.09. Tux is at 4,200. Um, Toby McNinja at 4,872. Hackett at 49.10. Ortog down here at 68.19. Trent all the way down here at 71.39 with Big Mac not far behind at 81.19. Enquarter at 90.23. Uh, Torba at 95.40. Uh, Sammy is at 11.928. Larwood. You've played it, Larwood, haven't you? Haven't you? Haven't you? Hmm, not sure. Is it 12599? Matthew at 15163. Blinky at 15937. Sonata at 16026. Bloodlock at 17729. The Hill at 18893. Uh, Bob at 19662. Alex B down here at 25658. Tom is at 26236. Ethan is at 26813. Ronco at 32235. Uh, Pineapple at 34458. Gaspodes at 38,667. We're getting towards the bottom. The Undertaker at 4451. Brad at 43,050. AT at 43,210. I'll be there, not quite. Uh, Crisp at 46,120. Didan at 56,996. Matrix. Name change there at 57,819. Here we are then, the bottom of the pile. If you're watching this and you're any of these people, put a comment below as to why hmm. uh, Ben is at 59.630 Johnny at 66.537 Noz at 69.582 Midiego at 76.950 Roxy at 84.919 Jack Mullin down here at 101.819 Josh at 103.838 Matty at 106.860 and Danny 111,100 and 45 why just why let me know if you're one of these people let me know if you want to be shamed on a weekly basis i will leave a link to the soon to be changing discord server in the description below so get in there get involved before it's too late and next time we will carry on from hamburg making our way around the outside of the map different coach different time of the year same time of the day same randomness that's not going to change, is it? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the randomness of it. Hit subscribe to see more stuff from me. Do join that Discord server. And do check me out live on Twitch. It's going to be the thing that I'm focusing on mainly for next year. So get involved. Start watching live on Twitch. There's some great stuff coming up. Some of the content 
hopefully will be enjoyable for next year. Certainly got a lot planned between Christmas and New Year as well, including what is hopefully going to be karaoke on New Year's Eve. Oh, God. Whose idea was that? But anyway, check it out. I will link below and uh, we will leave that there. Until the next time, if you have been, and if you've got this far, you probably all gave up 40 minutes ago. I don't know why I bother. <laughs> Thanks very, very much for watching.